Volvo is one of the automakers that is making the most rapid transition towards an all-electric future. They've announced that by the end of this decade, by 2030, they will sell nothing but battery electric vehicles. They've also announced that they intend to sell no gas powered only vehicles uh, as part of the transition. So we're in 2022 and we've got some years to go until 2030. So how are they managing that? Well, they're not going full hybrid, but they're adding what they would call sort of a mild hybrid system to uh, the models that won't transition to all electric. One of them is right beside me here. It's 2022 refreshed XC60. It's one of a couple of models available right now that have this new uh, mild hybrid system. And that's what we're gonna take a look at on this latest review. So with the 2022 variant of the uh, Volvo XC60 with this mild hybrid, the B6, uh, there is a total power output of 295 horsepower and 310 pound-feet of torque. This does not include the additional 13 horsepower that is used with the integrated uh, starter generator. It's not yeah, applied all the time, so I guess they don't factor it in. It's in addition. Now, how does that compare to the old T6 without the mild hybrid system? Well, the 2021 version, for example, would have had a, a, an output of 316 horsepower and 295 pound-feet of torque. So less horsepower, but more torque. And I guess that's where that um, the, the starter generator comes in at the beginning. With any sort of hybridization or the uh, inclusion of electrification, the goal, of course, is to improve overall fuel economy. And it does but as it's a mild hybrid, you're only gonna get mild improvements. The combined fuel economy rating of this 2022 XC60 with the, uh, with the B6 engine is 9.9 .9 liters per 100 kilometers. Forgive me for my Americans, I, I forgot to look up the US MPG, but I'll include that in my overlay. That compares to last year's non-mild hybrid, the, the T6, which had a combined fuel economy rating of 10.3 liters per 100 kilometers. That's 0.4 uh, of, a, of a liter. Um, that's not a huge improvement, but it is an improvement. So, I mean, take that however you wish. The mild hybrid system was first introduced in 2019 by Volvo in select markets. For 2022, Volvo is bringing the system to North America in four models. In addition to the XC60, the mild hybrid powertrain is available on the S60 sedan, V60 wagon, and the V90 cross country that I also had a chance to check out and drive for this review. My V90 tester, like the XC60, is a B6 variant, which utilizes a turbocharged and supercharged 2-liter 4-cylinder engine. The overall power output is the same on both vehicles. So what does it mean to be a mild hybrid system? We, we generally know what it means as a regular hybrid, given how long it's been around, that it is a combination of a gas engine and a uh, smaller battery that in some situations can run on battery only and it regenerates itself through uh, the braking system and can you know improve fuel economy 20, 25% or more. A plug-in hybrid we also know as, as uh, basically a hybrid system with a larger battery that can run for uh, prolonged periods on EV only and is uh, battery large enough that it actually has to be plugged in and charged up separately. Now with a mild hybrid system, it really is not either of those systems. In fact, it's, it's really not hybrid in the way that we assume it to be. So a lot of times automakers don't even reference it as a hybrid. I mean, with this Volvo, I'm now of course driving the V90 and the V6, just like I was in the XC60 earlier on. And all they have really done is changed, you know, T6 to B6, T5 to B5. And you know, you're gonna have to figure out what that means. So really what a mild hybrid system is, is basically a small electrical generator that is used instead of a starter motor or an alternator. Um, it also comes with a very small battery, but again, not large enough to hold enough charge that you can run this vehicle separately just on the battery alone. It's typically connected to a 48 volt uh, electrical system that distributes the power uh, that usually runs off an engine. So what we're doing here is supplanting uh, some of the engine's power, which would run on fuel with an electrical system. So it's kind of an assisting 
device as opposed to a, uh, a combination of a co-device in terms of powering on gas and electric alone. Uh, I guess the one difference too is with uh, in Volvo's case, when you have either a B5 or a B6, like remember in the old days, uh, a T5 was a turbocharged four-cylinder engine, a T6 was a turbocharged and supercharged. It's the same idea here, except now uh, the, um, the, the B6 that I'm driving, the uh, supercharger is electric versus mechanical. So there's another difference as well. So the, the mild hybrid system will basically electronically assist the engine. It does so by pulling power from the generator and it works in situations like acceleration. Uh, also uh, on when you say restart an engine. So, um, you know, as you know, if you're basically, you know, if you're scientifically inclined, I mean, look, I'm not a scientist. I took uh, the last science class I took was in grade 11 and I got 51 in physics. But we all probably understand that, you know, a heavy object that is uh, in, a, in a stop position is going to take a lot of energy to get it moving. So instead of relying all on the gas engine, the, the uh, e-assist system will provide some electronic supplemental power to lessen the burden on the gas engine and thus improve fuel economy. And it's also a good system when it's starting up. And again, we all know that starting up an engine can, or at least when the older systems that required carburetors were, you know, had a big drain on or impact on fuel economy. But with this e-assist system, uh, it's actually quite seamless. The auto stop start feature on this, you barely even notice, uh, and it's an improvement. So, I mean, these are the, this is what really a mild hybrid system is. I get, it's not a hybrid in the way that we understand hybrids to be, but it does offer some um, battery electric assistance to the gas engine when necessary. But, so why would you want a mild hybrid instead of a regular hybrid? You know, if your primary goal is to choose a hybrid to improve your fuel economy, uh, less than the amount of gas you use, well, this isn't really the best choice for you. Uh, if instead, you know, you're looking for a vehicle that, that will improve fuel efficiency, uh, but really mild hybrid systems are designed more for the drive. The, the assist on startup, uh, the, the real smoothness or lack of uh, really visibly or, or feeling that stop start again, uh, the efficiencies there, that's where you're gonna take a mild hybrid system for. Why would automakers go this way also? Well, I mean, it, it doesn't require as fundamentally different a shift in the way you design your vehicle. Uh, it's not hard to implement a mild hybrid system into an existing design. So, you know, a lot of automakers have done it. We're going as far back as, you know, uh, Buick and, and using their e-assists. And, you know, you saw that in GM and you even see the same system in the Ram 1500s uh, with uh, these big trucks. And obviously you see it with Mercedes and their AMG system. So it's, it's, it's around uh, and it serves a purpose, um, but primarily because it's easy. You know, Volvo, again, is going to eventually get rid of all of their gas uh, vehicles and, and it's interesting that they have not chosen to go with a traditional hybrid in the transition. You know, right now with um, say the V90 that I'm driving now and the XC60 that I drove earlier with these mild hybrid systems, it basically goes, you know, mild hybrid uh, up to, you know, plug-in hybrid and then, you know, that's it. That's what you have. The future for Volvo is electrified, and we will continue to see examples of that as we lead towards 2030, when they should be all electric in terms of new vehicle sales. But until then, we have vehicles such as this V90 Cross Country and the XC60 with the B5 and B6 mild hybrid engines. They're great. These Volvos drive well. They're luxurious. And if you love that Scandinavian minimalism, there really isn't anything else on the market quite like it. But if you're going to go for something that's not electric from Volvo, just don't pretend that you're doing it because you want great fuel economy. These mild hybrids are fine. They improve the drive experience. But, you know, they're, if you want all about fuel economy and you don't want to go electric yet, there's probably other hybrids out there on the market that you might want to look to first. That's this look at the mild hybrid systems with Volvo. I'm Eric Novak. Thanks for watching.